don't want to be too loud because I'm on the balcony and obviously the balconies are like really close and it's half past one in the morning. I got a chocolate cake. That looks unreal. What the freak frog? Do you know if teenage Charlie, who was obsessed with Sweet Life on Deck, could see me now, she'd be screaming. And then I've also got a cheesecake. I had this yesterday. This is absolutely gorgeous. I had to get it again. Just getting a snack of just uh, cheesecake and chocolate cheesecake. I think that's that that's what that was. In the middle of the night, uh, from room service. I mean, she gotta literally have these room service dudes running back and forth. When she was on the cruise, all she was doing was getting room service. Whenever she wasn't out, she was getting room service. And when she wasn't drinking copious amounts of alcohol, which I'm probably guessing at this particular moment in this video, she's probably faded. She's probably gone. Destroyed. Absolutely. Absolutely faded. Oh my god. I drink so much alcohol. It's my favorite. That's every time, Charlie, Charlie Ann. But uh, eating cheesecake in the middle of the night, I'm not surprised, really, because she can't help herself. <laughs> she seems to have a food addiction, but it's okay. She's not exactly, like, super obese. Them lashes are super obese. God damn, them things is thick as hell. Like, like five-pound dumbbells on the, on the very top of your eyelids. But, I mean, in the middle of the night, dude, eating it on the thing, like, what are you going to do? I mean, you're on a cruise. A lot of people were telling me that, when they were going to go on the cruise, they were going to go on, like, trips and, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff. They never did that. They just kind of ate food the entire time, which is, is exactly what I thought that would do, which is exactly what I thought they were going to do. When they first announced that they were going to go on the cruise, I just kind of imagined that it was just going to be, like, a big floating buffet. And they were going to look over at the, the blue ocean, which is what they did. That's the only thing that you're doing on cruises. You're eating, and then you're looking at water, which is awesome, by the way. But couldn't you just, like, buy a flat-screen TV, like a big 4K Ultra HD screen TV, like a 70-inch? Just have that on the wall and just have a screensaver of just ocean water. And then maybe every once in a while, I'm sure you could pull up, like, a 4K video of some whales making some noises. You could throw that on the wall, too. That would be way better than spending however much money that uh, you're spending on, on a cruise trip like this. But then again, all the stuff that, that, that they got on this cruise was all paid for. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you get free room service? Why wouldn't you have them running up the bill when you don't have to pay for anything? Why not? Hey, I had this yesterday. This is absolutely gorgeous. I had to get it again. I also got a cup of lemon and ginger tea. I'm obsessed with this tea. I literally get it every night now. We've had the best time on this cruise. I actually don't want to leave. When I tell you, this has probably been one of my favorite holidays. Yeah, because everything has been free and you're doing your favorite thing, which is eating tons and tons and tons of food. Having the room service running up to your door day in, day out, literally every hour coming back up. And for Charlie Ann, I literally see her calling up the room service at like, one, two, three, four in the morning, telling them, yo, come up, I'm hungry, I need more food. Make sure you guys run these foods up. And sometimes she'll have an order for the breakfast and she'll just call up in the middle of the night, be like, yo, you remember that order of the breakfast that I that I ordered? Can you add in this? Can you add in that? I think I'm not gonna be hungry. And uh, for, for Charlie Ann, it seems like she really thinks with her stomach consistently. I don't know how hungry you gotta be consistently in order to order the amount of food that she does, but she'd be eating a lot. Like. It's been unreal. So much fun. There's so much to do on this cruise as well. All you've done is eat food. Copious amounts of food. And I guess like drink alcohol, watch Mean Girls, and then twerk on the dance floor while listening to Britney Spears. Which I guess is not that bad actually. With all things considered. I'm sure she had a lot of fun. But let's be honest here for a second. Um, you're just on this cruise to eat a lot of food. All the food was free for her. All the buffet food was free for her. All the alcohol was free for her. All the ice cream. All that shit was free. And she took advantage of it. Which which obviously I and you would also take advantage of it. And to be honest, I don't think they took enough advantage of it. I just saw these people literally going to the same places over and over and over and over again, literally to the extent where they were even going to Macca's when they were on the cruise, which is insane. I didn't even know there was McDonald's on the cruise, which is actually crazy as hell to think that you have all these great designer restaurants and somehow you still manage to go to McDonald's. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? I uh, can't stop the overconsumption of Macca's, which is really in incredible, actually, because 
I've met people since I started to react to these people from the UK, and I've met a lot of people from the UK that have straight up told me, no, uh, David, I don't know what's up with these people because I we don't eat McDonald's like that. We don't have Maccas to the, to the extent that these people do, so I don't know why they eat it so often. And I always look at them and I just think, yeah, why is that? Why Even here in America, I don't know people that eat at McDonald's to the extent that these people do. Uh, they just kind of do, like, all the time. Uh, maybe somebody can let me know down below what it's like over there in the UK, why you guys wear so much tanner, and also, why is Maccas on the top of the menu? Like, I feel like we haven't seen it all. Like, there's still so much left to see. Some honey to go away to as well. Yesterday, we went to Spellbound, which is like a magic cocktail bar and it was unreal we watched like a magic show we alcohol poisoning is always so great uh i think that that she's probably built up a lot of tolerance to the alcohol though couldn't film much inside though because it's meant to be like a secret experience so you've got to keep it secret for like future guests but if you ever go on a princess cruise i definitely recommend going to the spellbound because you walk in and it's like magical like i can't even explain that i walked in and i was like is this even real i felt like i was in a film I can't believe tomorrow night is our last night. Sad. We've got a big party tomorrow. Okay, I feel like we should try the chocolate cake first because I haven't tried this. How many calories do you guys think that each one of these cake slices are? Because when I went to Cheesecake Factory, each slice, uh, and they looked pretty much the same as this, were somewhere around seven to a thousand calories per slice. And I'm not even joking by that either. Um, they they really do run that high in terms of calorie counts. So I wouldn't be surprised if each one of these slices was. 700, 800, 900, even a stack in terms of calories. And she's about to body slam two of them. No problem, too. And why wouldn't you, right? I mean, you only got a few more days left on the cruise. You might as well just body slam whatever you can. Yeah. It looks stunning. Oh, look at that. It's all right. It's just chocolate cake, dude. This is not just a chocolate cake. This is room service chocolate cake. True. The Indonesian guy that came to your room, he really put special hands on that chocolate cake to give it to you. It really was hand-delivered to Charlie Ann specifically. What a beautiful, what a true, true that. Not just chocolate cake, but room service chocolate cake, as if that means anything at all. It's like DoorDash food. It's the same shit. Like, because somebody's hands was on your food prior to them giving it to you, why does it matter? I don't know. Whatever. I guess you don't have to pay them tips or whatever. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Damn, halfway gone already. I cannot cope with this cake. Oh. Not to be dramatic, because I never am, obviously. But Why are your hands so yellow compared to the rest of your body? I know that when they apply like the tanner, they use like oven mitts or something like that to apply it, but her hands are very, very brown for some reason. That is the best chocolate cake. That is the best chocolate cake I have ever eaten in my whole entire life. Whatever, dude. I don't care. It doesn't even matter. Your taste buds are pretty much all obliterated off your tongue at this point. If we're just being honest here, it doesn't matter, dude. You're eating so often. You're eating so many times per day that the, the, the food that you put in your mouth at the point that you're at right now is just a culmination of everything that you've eaten in the day. I mean, really think about that, right? When you're dating somebody and you tell somebody you love them all the time, it just kind of blends together. But when you say I love you that one time a day, it really impacts, it really hits hard. It really feels like that person loves you. Um, but when you're eating consistently like, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times a day, uh, it really is meaningless when you eat that one piece of chocolate cake. It's like having Thanksgiving dinner. It's beautiful, I love Thanksgiving dinner, but if you eat Thanksgiving dinner every single day and then suddenly when it's Thanksgiving, then you're eating that same food, just kind of becomes the normal day for you. It's not a holiday anymore. You're, you're, you're quite literally celebrating it on a day in, day out basis, which is exactly what Charlie Ann does on a daily basis. She just eats slop food all the time. So I don't even understand why she's even registering this flavor in any way. It's probably just chocolate to her, just sweets. I will dream about you for Crazy. the rest of my whole entire existence. So to look down at a cake and tell the cake that you're gonna dream about it is actually insane. You find somebody that find somebody that will love you the same way that Charlie Ann will love this chocolate, this chocolate cheesecake. Real, real deal. That this should be a wake up call for anybody. Okay, if your wife, if your husband, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend isn't talking to you like that, then you don't got you don't got a good relationship, dude. Find somebody that's gonna look at you like Charlie Ann looks at that cake and says, "I'm gonna dream about you for my hello life." 
big back shit. Damn. I could live off that forever. Now we've got the cheesecake. I know what she tastes like. So cheese and real as well. Mm. 2 a.m. in the morning just eating some fucking cheesecake, man. Can you believe that shit? What a life we live in, man. Can you imagine the dudes down in the kitchen area talk about some, yo, bro, I can't believe this woman really just ordered two, two separate cakes. 2 a.m. in the morning, too. We could have literally made anything for her, but she wanted the cake. That's insane. Go ahead, Charlie Ann. Yup. Love it. I'm literally gonna sit here and inhale two cakes. Beautiful. What a, what a life you live. All for myself. I'm literally just living my best life. Yeah, true, man. You're also, like, inducing type 2 diabetes on yourself on a daily basis. Two slices of cake just chilling in your mouth, man. That's crazy. You really gonna feed your mouth two chocolate pieces of cake? Why, why do you even deserve it? Like, what did you do to deserve this cake? All you've been doing since you've been here is overindulge. You don't deserve this shit, but whatever, man. Go ahead. Eat your, eat your, eat your cheesecake. All for myself. I'm literally just living my best life. Guys, I've got room service. I am so excited for this. I've got Barbie on in the background. True. I feel like we're having a little girly sleepover FaceTime sesh. So tonight, Matthew, we've got a... Are these like sauces? Are these like sauces right here? Or are these like those minty things they put in the urinal so that way they smell good when you pee in them? Tuna mayo toasty. How do I get this lid off? You don't. What? Yeah, you don't, you don't, forget about trying to get the lid off. You don't need to get the lid off. That was the trick, okay? This is like the chastity belt for the food. If you don't know the combination, you can't get in. You're not gonna be able to satisfy your mouth tonight. It was an elaborate trick. All of the, all of the dudes are now laughing behind the door. All the room service guys are laughing like, ha 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 ha. We really tricked her, bro. We really put that chastity belt on the food. No, she's gonna get in regardless, right? <sighs> The food is there, and I'm starving, and I can't get the You're not starving. Let's be honest, dude. You've been eating literally every second of the day since you've been on this cruise. Never in your life say the word starving. Might be in oh, cool. I'm just being really dumb. Right, so we've got a tuna toasty. Never. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. Never in your entire life will you ever see me ordering tuna outside the house. That's insane. I will make my own tuna sandwich because I know I can make it myself and I, I trust myself. Eating tuna outside the crib is insane to me. You're literally, you got, out of all the food you can have delivered to your house, out of everything, you chose to eat tuna? Tuna. Mmm, okay. Okay. It's up to you, but that sounds diabolical, dude. Uh, because they, the, the amount of fuck-ups that you can have in tuna. Now, granted, it is room service tuna, but even still, it's, uh, why would you ever order tuna compared to anything else? Literally anything else would have been better, but Charlie Ann has weird taste buds, I'm Eat guessing. with chips. I didn't actually know it come with chips. So, I've also got cheesy loaded chips. I don't so know what's on. So, chips on chips on tuna. Beautiful combination. And she's also got the Sprite over there on the left. But they look unreal. What the frick from? Oh, this is for my tea. This is for my tea. I've also got lemon and ginger tea. There's a little teapot. Room so service all day. Tea. I've got coleslaw to go with okay, the toasty thought, in this yeah. pot. A cheeky little Sprite as well. Right, this is the tuna toasty. It is sauces. Lovely, gorgeous. Oh my god, so good. Oh my god. Are you smiling right now? Can't tell. Okay, bro, it's tuna. That is a good toasty. It's a tuna sandwich. Like, it, 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 I don't know why you're even, like, saying it tastes good at all. It's always going to be what it is. It's tuna, okay? Nobody ever complained about tuna, ever. Um, but nobody's ever ordering it outside the house. Get anything else. A, bur a burger would have been way better than this. But Charlie Ann, guess what she wants, I suppose, dude? Absolutely diabolical behavior. Shrek's loving the cruise. He's been in the bedroom most of the time, actually. No. So I think tomorrow's the day where I'm going to take Shrek around the cruise and show him around. What's Shrek seen in that room? Let's try the cheesy loaded fries. You gotta eat the cheesy loaded fries right away. There's no way you don't because they're gonna become fermented. You know how cheese, after a little bit of time, they just kind of like become, it just becomes like one solid thing instead of like actual melted cheese. Everybody knows this, okay? You don't wait. You eat them right away. They're like McDonald's fries. You don't wait more than five minutes. Otherwise, they become fermented or in McDonald's case, they become flaccid like your boyfriend's penis. <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, not not appropriate. I'm never flaccid. I'm I'm consistently always hard erect all the time. Damn. 
That was a big ass fucking gulp. God damn. Oh my god, just got like chili on the top. Okay. And then let's do our tea together. Privileged as fuck, bro. I thought a cute little cup of tea would be so lush before bags. I can't have tea and soda though? Like, what are you gonna do with that soda? You're obviously gonna drink it, yeah? Before bed? This is before bed? You're eating a tuna sandwich with fries and more fries and your soda and tea before bed? Alright, you about to be waking up in the middle of the night and you gonna have that bubble gut shit. You gonna be running to the toilet, bro. I know for a fact. I not anymore and they didn't have decaf tea. So, I've gone for lemon and ginger. So it's not decaf? Mmm. That honey tastes unreal. Ah, uh, okay. I hope it does. We're literally having the best time on this cruise. Like, it's so lush. And I've loved meeting everyone. There's such a cutesy little group of us as well. Like, we're all going so well. Tonight, we watched Mean Girls on the top deck. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. With blankets. And this massive ice cream. Like, I was literally in my element. Cheers. I'm going to finish the rest of this. Watch Barbie. And enjoy my cup of tea. Have an early night because we've got a busy day tomorrow as well. I haven't seen Barbie. Let me know if that movie's really good. I heard that Ken really, really killed it. Or Ryan Gosling's character. And I really like Margot Robbie as well. Maybe I'll watch it one day. One day I'll watch it, but probably not. Uh, by the way, all this food is extremely diabolical for somebody that's extremely overweight. She's not obese, I don't think. Or maybe if she's obese, it's very ambiguous. I can't really tell a lot of times with Charlie Ann. It seems like she's got a lot of surgery. I have no idea, though, what she's probably had done. I know her face is, like, consistently always done. I know she has lip injections. I think she also has, like, Botox as well. I don't know. I can't really tell oftentimes with people from the UK because you guys do a lot of... Um, cosmetic stuff, whether that be from tanning, whether that be the injections, whether that be the, the, the Botox, I don't ever know precisely. It's very difficult. Here in America, we just don't have that type of culture. Oh my god, that tea is stunning. That heavy with that tea. I'm obsessed. Good night. Say good night, Trekkie. Good, good night, Shrek. Enjoy Guys. your tuna sandwich and the other things. It's, it's half nine in the morning. I'm about to get my knock at the door. From Dude, these lips look so irritated, man. Room service for my balcony breakfast. I'm so excited. Good morning, Good morning. How, how are you? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I am uh, with the balcony breakfast. Lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, he was literally so sweet. This breakfast looks insane. Balcony what breakfast. What is actually eh? going on? Like damn. this. God is damn. Unreal. Okay, listen, dude. Charlie Ann. Just for you, huh? This is a balcony breakfast just for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, six plates of food, orange juice, and coffee? God damn. It's giving bougie. Champagne for breakfast. I've even got a decaf iced coffee. <laughs> oh my God, she's so good. Stunning, that Ooh, in the morning. That's First thing, it your lips. Unreal. What so, lips? plate one. Okay, plate one. Bacon looks dehydrated, bro. Please, somebody put some moisturizer on this thing, dude. Bacon and hashy ass fish. ankles. I also requested some hashy. Two hash browns that look literally like they've been in the air fryer for an additional five or ten minutes on top. These things are crusty, dude. Hashies as well. I've got a whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten danishes. Ten danishes or ten pastries. Insane. You about to eat all of that? Damn. That's a lot, Jerry Ann. Damn. Plate of pastries. Oh my god, look, there's even a pistachio one. I don't know what's under here. A bagel, oh, random a cutesy bagel. Little bagel girl. And I've also got some salmon to go with the bagel. And I think this is the French toast that I requested. Oh my god. god oh my damn. god. How do you eat all of this food all at once, man? This is enough for like three different people. Literally, this is enough for three different people, and she's just gonna body slam this shit all by herself. We live in a great time to be alive where this is even something that we can do. A uh, hundred years ago, bro, y your great great grandparents were probably dying at the age of like 14 because they had like tuberculosis, or your grandfather accidentally drank out of the wrong lake and died like the next day or something like that because he drank up all the amoebas or something like that or like somebody was downstream and somebody busted some straight acid to that water and now your dad was sucking that down so now he's you know his great grandfather is dead by now so you had that you had all these people suffering consistently dying of starvation and here charlie ann is on the cruise 
eating a, 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 a deck room service thing here. Four or five different places, 10 danishes. It, it, so much food that like three people can eat it. But you know what, dude? Living your best life, I guess. Uh, this damn. is in. God damn. Three different maple syrup containers. Absolutely insane. Same. Good lord. And guys, I'm gonna eat the hashi washes first because they literally look so good. They look like those are nah, those are dried as hell, dude. You, those things literally look like you take a bite and just <laughs> so dry, dude. Who got the crunch on him? Where's the water at? I am so excited to try this French toast. I haven't had French toast in so long, and this just looks unreal. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, that looks insane. And then we've also got some chocolate. This dude. When did it become a norm over there in the UK to do maple syrup and then also chocolate syrup on the same on the same dish? That's that's actually really diabolical. We have to talk about that for a second. That's gross. That's actually really really gross. I don't know who told you that was okay. That does not sound remotely good at all. Maple syrup, fine. Chocolate syrup, fine. Together, no. I'm not trying to have that fusion dance tr tr transpire while these people are eating as much as they are. Nah, nah. I'm gonna call disrespectful to the mouth. That is actually terrible. I saw Becky doing this, literally. I think on that last video we did, she put the maple syrup and the chocolate on too. And I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter for Becky since she does since, since she eats so much already. It's just sugar to her. But Sherry Ann doing it too? Oh my god, that shit is that shit's actually really gross. This is actual heaven. Cheers. The flavors are melting on my tongue. It's just sugar. I am so beyond obsessed with French toast. Absolutely gorgeous. Sad, now we're actually. Trying Super depressing to even watch this, though. The pastries. I don't know what is which and what is who, what, 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 where. How did we get right here? Life is like a box of pastries. But this one is definitely pistachio. It kind of looks like a big, like center or not a centipede but like a moth or something like that or like a moth before it turns into a moth you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna give this a taste test first when it's in the Let's universe it or whatever it's called oh my god shut up dude it's half past nine in the morning i'm sat on a balcony drinking champagne with most unreal breakfast in front of me like what is going on right now i feel so beyond grateful I mean, I'm happy that she feels grateful for it, dude. But I also, like, it's great. It's great that they have this trip prayed for them. But, like, there have been many people that have complained that all these influencers on this. Because it was more than just her. It was Becky. It was um, Corey. It was Leah. It was also, like, three or four other influencers as well. And people on the uh, cruise ships were actually putting out reviews saying that they mistreated the actual guests or people that had to pay real money in order to get on this cruise. And a whole bunch of people put out Facebook posts saying that these influencers were getting special treatment. They were first in line, even cutting in front of people with cameras all over the place, recording them without their consent, which didn't even matter because that was the entire purpose that they were even on the cruise to begin with. So they can have this advertisement, which I'm not even necessarily opposed to. Like, it's fine that they contacted these particular individuals to get them to go on this cruise for the advertisement. It's probably the best advertisement you can get, but it's also, you're not going to be treated like these people because uh, we know that you're not going to. We literally saw the actual guests being mistreated and not being able to get the, the, the same foods or the same services or the same amount of time that these people were able to get, even though they paid the same amount of money. Um, but they didn't, like they, these people didn't get paid at all. Obviously they didn't pay at all, but the point I'm making is, like, the real customers didn't actually get the services. It was just, like, a facade for them. But uh, it's really sad to see that because it does look pretty cool, but it, I, I just doubt that, that this is actually happening for everybody. It's really sad, man. Oh, is this, like, a cinnamon little swirl? I don't blame them, by the way. Like, that's their entire job, right? Their entire job is to be influencers on this cruise, getting special treatment, so that way everybody else can see it. So, like, I don't feel bad for... I don't I don't feel like it's their fault necessarily, but they did take advantage of it. It is what it is. Try here. This one looks like it'll taste unreal. Mmm. Yeah, whatever. White in a day on the cruise. Guys, we're literally having the best time ever. We went for brekkie and the choices were absolutely sensational. There was pastries, your normal hashi washi brekkie, smoked salmon. They seem like cool people to hang out with, dude. Um, my only problem is the amount of alcohol these people consume, dude. A lot of people have told me that in the UK, they do have an, an alcohol problem. 
I don't know how serious it is. I know there's a big alcohol problem in a lot of uh, e e like European countries, but apparently in the UK, it's actually really, really serious. That would be my only gripe with these people. They drink a lot of alcohol very, very consistently. That's it though. That's my only issue with these people. Um, they do eat out a lot, which is obviously a problem because half of them are literally chronically obese. And I think Leah is actually trying to do something about it, but she also eats like crazy as well. So I don't know exactly, like you can't, you can't outrun a bad diet. Like you can do a lot of physical activities, but like, let's put it in perspective. You run for like an hour and you burn like 400 calories or you could just not eat that muffin. That's 400 calories, right? Now, I'm not saying the exercise isn't going to help. It should help. The exercise is obviously always going to be good. But the point I'm making is it's always going to be easy to put down the fork compared to running that mile or three miles or whatever it needs to be in order to burn that calorie. So I would always recommend that. These people, they seem nice, but their diets are so diabolical. And they literally have the lot. I ended up making a sausage Damn. math. I had eggs, hashi washi, sausage, Dude. stunning, and then chocolate syrup and maple syrup. I ended up making a sausage math. That. I had that's gross, dude. Maybe there isn't maple syrup on this, but I know Becky does it. Eggs, so. hashi washi, sausies, stunning. And then for my second plate, I had some pancake pancakes. After Bracky, we decided to go in the infinity pool and the hot tub. The infinity pool is like glass on the end. It honestly felt yeah, like- Yeah, they really got pizza quite a bit on this uh, on this cruise. They were going to get that pizza literally every single day, it seems like. We were living in luxury. We spent the whole afternoon in the hot tub and then we went for lunch. I got pizza, taco, and this chicken shawarma. Went Damn. back to the room Damn. to ready for dinner lot. and I ended up ordering more room service. I love the fact you can literally just order room service whenever. They seem like cool people. I, I, I do think they're fun to hang around with. I'm actually living my true sweet life on deck life. We got ready for dinner and we went to the Horizons. This has been my favourite food so far. Obviously, I have a savvy bee in hand. Absolutely gorgeous. They brought out some bread and butter and we were all on the Cockianas, except for Eva. She was on the mocktails. I'm literally going to miss everyone when we get off this cruise. It's so nice to be here with a bunch of people like we actually get on with and they're just really good vibes we all have such a laugh together and we've only got a few days left and i don't want to leave them for me i went bad. for a medium roast steak good. lobster i think most of this is going to be lost on them though because they don't like they, they don't treat themselves very well when it comes to the food choices even though they have the ability to like most of these people have enough money to eat out well as much as they want to but i always see them going to makai's or greg's and trying to get the food from those places instead of like actually spending quality money on good quality food or like making their own food it's always easier to go to makai's so i don't know to what degree is this food actually gonna like serve their mouths correctly that and some lamb chops how unreal like this was lush the lamb chops were so juicy and that steak is the best steak i've ever had in my life also the lobsters and the ice cream as well i, I said this before in the becky video but to have the the chocolate on the outside of the ice cream is so goddamn dumb it's like when Corey one time he did a video where he was eating a burger and the burger looked great the, the burger did look amazing but they drizzled cheese on the outside of the burger, which made it irrelevant. What's even the point then if that's the case? Like the bun, the entire point of the bun is to be a barrier in the same way that the cup is supposed to be a barrier as well. But now once it starts melting, it's going to melt on your fingers because it's fucking chocolate. Chocolate melts. So I'm upset that they decided to do this. It looks aesthetically pleasing, but I don't necessarily care about the aesthetically pleasing part because I want it to work well. So sometimes you got to sacrifice aesthetics for... I don't know, like the, the ability for something to work well, so. Stunning. When I thought this night couldn't get any better, we were watching Mean Girls under that's the- That's probably a couple, like a thousand dollars right with there. ice cream. Like it was on a big screen. We were lying on the beds with blankets. Absolute immaculate vibes. Dang. When I got back, I ordered more room service. I had a toasty and some ginger tea. Lush. Looks like Sherry Ann most definitely abused all of the options she had on the cruise. And it's really sad that everybody on the cruise wasn't able to get the same type of accommodations as the people that actually didn't even pay for it. But I guess they paid for it and their own publicity so i'm not here to like shit on them for that dude i would have done it too literally um if i was somebody who was paying me via like fast food or like tons and tons of like takeaways tons and tons of free food on cruises and, and room services and all this other stuff like why the fuck wouldn't you right i would do it too so i get it um but it sucks that the people on the cruise were not getting the same amount of stuff and that's, um, that's really, really terrible. That's really sad. That's really, you know, not so good. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or 
you're here right now leave it down below by typing in kiwi because kiwis are beautiful fruits and they're amazing people they're very furry but they're also very very succulent simultaneously i personally don't like kiwis because they remind me of nut sacks so i don't eat them but it's also because i don't like the taste of them and now people are probably now you're probably thinking like david did you just say that you you think they look like nut sacks and you tasted them it's not gay it's not gay uh if you're doing it for if you're doing it for the facilitation of like pleasing your stomach it's not gay if you do that it's not i know i've thought about this really long and hard um and you're a beautiful person by the way you're really amazing you're spectacular i love the way you save money i love the way that you take care of yourself i love the way that you are just a amazing beautiful spectacular awesome human being thank you so much today for watching today's video um if you want to check out my socials it'll be linked down below enjoy the rest of your day guys